Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, the man the media still obsesses over, still needs to be the worst man on earth so that they don't have to look in the mirror and see that they actually are the evil ones. Uh, he was on Sean Hannity's program on Fox News last night, and it was a wide-ranging interview, but I thought this was the most interesting part. Donald Trump talking about the media. They are corrupt. They are, and I say it, and I don't want to say it much, but I say it, and I hope in the future I won't have to. They are the enemy of the people. And we could have a country that would be able to heal and get together, except the media foments it. They're so corrupt. And, you know, I call it, I came up with the term fake news a long time ago. I don't know if I'll get credit for that, but that's okay. The fake mm -hmm. news, but it's really the corrupt news. It's corrupt what they do. And they're so important, it could be, well, important. They used to have a high approval rating. Now they have the lowest. I think they have a lower rating than Mitch McConnell, which is pretty good. I tell you what, they have a rating that now is people, people have gotten wise to it. They've just gotten wise to it. God, it will never ever cease to amaze me that that golden man with whatever is going on with his hair is more authentic than virtually every other politician in America, even today. And I put that notwithstanding a couple of the guys that you know I like, like Ted Cruz and Rand Paul, and uh, obviously there's a couple others, but it's just incredible. The best part of that, of course, is that he still wants credit for the phrase fake news, which is sort of hilarious. Like, what, what do you want? Do you want an award? Should they hand him some sort of golden statue? You, Donald Trump, created the term fake news. Da, da, da. Anyway, getting to the, to the nuts and bolts of what he said, he said they're corrupt. Now that is just obviously true. The mainstream media is evil and corrupt. At one point yesterday, I verified it myself, Nowhere at CNN.com was there anything about the car ramming event in Wisconsin from uh, a couple days ago, okay? Somehow that was not on CNN's front page. That is a type of fake news. When they will not show you something because it goes against their narrative, that is a type of fake news. Fake news is not just, oh, headline doesn't match what's in the article or headline's completely made up. Sometimes avoidance of a story is actually fake news. He said that they're the enemy of the people, which I think was a nod to my buddy, Michael Malice, who has been saying for a long time, and I like to quote him on it, the corporate press is the enemy of the people. So he is right about that. He says, we have a country that could come together. Doesn't it feel like that? Like it actually does. If these people were not constantly meddling, if they were not constantly trying to push you into thinking that your neighbor is a racist and a bigot and a Nazi and all of these things, and maybe doing a little bit of a, better job honestly reporting what's happening and not just the things that fit their narrative and then not hiding the things that don't fit their narrative. Don't you think the country could kind of come together? But there's not a lot of dollars in that, I suppose. You know, like, I'm not saying I do a perfect job here and I obviously make fun of the lefties left and right, but I think if you watch this show, you know that one of the things I'm trying to do is get us to a place um, where, where we're a little more decent, where we're a little more thoughtful, where we can heal some of this stuff. Do you think that that's what they want? Uh, it's so dangerous, and this was the danger. You can watch a video that I did the day after the 2016 election. We were, I had just moved into my other house. We didn't even have my old studio that you remember in the garage. We didn't even have that studio yet. There was construction going on. I'm sitting there off my computer in the backyard. It's very loud. Day after, day after Trump got elected, and I did not vote for Trump that time around, okay? And there's a video of me still considering myself part of the left saying, hey, maybe this is a moment where if we give this guy a chance that some good things can happen. But if we keep calling him racist, what if it turns out that he does some good things? What if we don't get into more wars? What if the economy is good? What if things are generally good in the country? And that's pretty much what happened. Let's remove COVID from it for a sec. That's pretty much what happened. But once you've done that, once you've called half the country Nazis and bigots, you've painted yourself into the corner, right? It's not what you've done to them. All right, you've said mean things about people. People get mean things said about them all the time, right? Like every time the New York Times or Daily Beast calls me a Nazi now or whatever they call me, it's like, oh, glad you guys are still paying attention to me, I suppose. But it's what you're doing to yourself because you can never be like, oh, you know, you're not gonna believe this, guys. That Hitler, that Hitler guy and the Nazis, that I've been telling you about, they're actually not so bad. So that's why they always double down. They always double down. They just gotta do more and more and more of it. Uh, but in any event, 
what Trump said there was correct. And the more that the media crumbles, and we know that their ratings are crumbling and everything else, the more they will become hysterical in order to keep people paying attention. Um, but at this point, I think you should basically go on the assumption that if CNN says something, it pretty much is not true. And, and maybe not every specific thing. As I said yesterday, it's like if they're reporting something about a, uh, a hurricane, I don't know, ballpark, I guess they're probably gonna get it right. Although there was that video of Anderson Cooper pretending that he was standing in like, you know, five feet of water. And then you, and then if you zoom out on the shot, you see people like in this much water behind him. So they, yeah, all right, I tried there. You see what I did? I tried to give them the benefit. They lie about everything. That's all you need to know.